Hey guys, welcome to season two of Gent. So I'm on this because I've done some preseason matches, and uh, if you're new to this game or you've only played it like the last year, because it's only been on PS5 for a couple of years. Do these preseason friendlies against big teams? You will bring in extra income for this season. So by doing the preseason friendlies, so I did preseason friendlies against like top German teams, Atletico Madrid, Arsenal, Chelsea, I think Villa. All that brought in nearly two million gate receipts. Actually, six million for the. Um, so we did get a bit more from this season to, from this season to last by 300,000 more so we have got a few more season ticket holders uh, and the good thing about some of the high friendlies they got TV coverage so we got a million and a half for TV revenue and also match day income not much but anything adds up we got 170,000 uh, match day income so altogether we brought up around like You know, three million, three and a half million together. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. So we, our finances are very good at the moment. Thirty-seven million. So we're in good debt. We're in a good place. Uh, we've still got a big debt to pay off. We're paying four hundred k each month for all of them. So I think until that, all that debt's gone I won't be having any um, I won't be having any uh, where is it oh recruitment that's it recruitment I'm looking for some. Usually it's on there. I'm trying to look for the thing. Yeah, so we're still not getting transfer revenue. But we've got six and a half million. But I've made some sign ins. So I've got an announcement to do with the national team as well. We are no longer Luxembourg. I was really enjoying Luxembourg. Didn't get the sack or anything. Um, remember when we were looking for the island job some seasons ago and we couldn't find them? Right, it was going to be after Canada, right? So they've offered me the job. I was going to put a poll in it, but a poll takes a whole day and I had to decide there and then. I couldn't go forward on the game and I wanted to get an episode out of this. So I took it. I took the island job. I'll show you the new signings in a minute. And I took it. So we've got the group stage, which I've not looked into yet. So what's our... So what group we got then? Germany, England, Croatia. Ooh. Ah, that's a tough one. Belgium, France, Georgia, Portugal. Georgia's got to the A-League. Denmark, Holland, Scotland, Spain. Italy, Norway, Romania, Wales. Okay. Yeah, that's a really, really tough group. So the first few games will be um, Croatia... England and Germany and England again so you might get a d two bonus episodes so Croatia and England then I'll do Germany and England and then when we get to November Croatia and Germany and let's just try and survive in Division A and make sure we stay up and don't go down because more likely it's going to be between Germany and England to win the group then it'd probably be between us and Croatia to stay in the group. 
in my prediction. And soon we will have the um Oh wrong one. We will have the uh World Cup qualifiers in two hundred summit days, so we know our group soon. Um all right, so I'll quickly run through the team. Um so they play four three three. This is the team, the first team. So I'll go from striker downwards, so so it's, they've got some good strokers. I just went through the whole team. They've got some really good strikers. So this is the team. So they're pretty good. Yeah, they're decent. So they are better than Luxembourg, a lot better. They... Similar to Luxembourg, though, good midfielders, good strikers, but defence ain't great. Yeah, the defence ain't brilliant, to be honest. So, yeah. So, that's the team. We have some international duty later. So... Good luck to Luxembourg. Hope they do well. I really enjoyed my time in Luxembourg and with Luxembourg, and I think we um, did well with them. We did well. We get, did a few good upsets. We're very competitive in the Nations League and qualifiers. So and we beat we beat um, who did we beat? We beat a big team, didn't we? But I can't remember what it what team it was. Yeah, we beat Holland, didn't we? And drew to England, so we had a couple of good upsets, you know what I mean? Alright, so uh some new sign ins we made. Uh so I've spent a lot of money. Um so I've only got a little bit left now. Um and that's mainly to re sign some of the talent in case their contract runs out um plus we've got six million for next year so but i think with the players are brought in we've got good a real good depth in this squad now um martin's injured so i brought in adrian martin now you know we had that striker um what was his name not Solanas. Or... What was his name? It'd be on here. Um, where's outgoings? So out. Why ain't it it's telling me the players have got out? So it was that striker who scored us all them goals last season. I forgot his name. Uh, someone paid his release fee, and uh, yeah, but we couldn't do anything about it. The board accepted his release fee, and they got him. So I got in a replacement. I got in uh, Martin, Adrian Martin. He looks really good, a lot of potential. Um, it's a good composure, good decision making, good long shot, really good long shots, good finishing, good dribbling, good ball control. Uh, he has the potential to be great. He really does. To be a top player in Europe, I see so much potential in him. Um, brought also uh, Harrison Smith. He looks good. He's played in... Uh, he was on loan and did really well last season. Five goals in 12 games. That's good for Union SG. And he's played in Mexico. Mainly had runs in Mexico and Germany. Um, so he looks good. He'd be a good sign-in. Uh, we've signed... Um, a couple of more. We've signed Diego Lima, who was from Luxembourg. So hopefully I've also put him in the B team because he'd be a backup 
to um, Martin. So we've got three good strokers. So we've got Martin, him, who could come on and make a difference. And then if two of them are injured, we've got Salanas, who did really well coming on. You know, last season he got five goals coming on all season as a squad player. And that's pretty good for a squad player to score five goals in a whole season. So that's not bad. And um, Moreno, so we've got good backup as well. Look, Moreno's, oh, we've got a couple of new defenders and a DM. Uh, so pretty much the same midfielders. Uh, so we've got Christopher Gomez Jr., a Brazilian DM. He has potential to be great. Um, so yeah, I think he's going to be a good player for us. Uh, he costed quite a bit. We got him for nearly three million. Um, so that's him. Uh, how much did Oh Lima was on a free? Yeah, Lima was on a free. We got Enriquez, a Mexican defender. He looks really good. Uh, has potential to be very good. With some development, he, I think he could be a really good defender for us. And I think he was on a free, or we bought him. I think we might have bought him. Yeah, he was on a free. And we got Madreno, a Colombian defender. Mainly his runs were in Colombia. But Colombia is a pretty good league. And he's had a couple of spells in a few games in Italy. And some games in Spain. So I think we paid 1.2 million for him. And uh, that's all our signings. So we made some new signings. And I think once everyone's fit and ready to go, because we are missing Karvanovic, Martin and Smith, then I think... And that notch that, we've got good backup, like, for the defenders, like, Dorado and Madreno is going to start. We've got Guzman and Gonzalo as a backup to them two. You know, Moreno and that Laredi, he's very promising. So they're going to be backups to um, Kone and them three. So, yeah, but I think this is going to be a really good team. Right. So, let's get to today's match. We'll move you up a bit as you're box to box. Right, so we'll try and get them to shoot a bit more. Shoot more often. Yeah, we want our midfielders to chip in with some goals. Right, and Lima's going to be starting as our other strikers out injured. So we've got a few injuries, so. When we get them all back, that's going to be good. We go counter attacking, attacking. Um. Oh, also we've got um. We've got uh our draw. For our but uh Europa League. So we have in the third round. We've not played them yet. So many matches. So that's the second. We've got the draw for the third. So. We have, where's our one? Ah, so we've got Eva, a team from Moldova, or the team from Romania, which more likely it'd be the Romanian team uh, in the third round. And let's hope we get to the league phase this season. Right, so one, two, three. And I'm going to start playing Agovic more so he keeps getting better. And then it helps our old Luxembourg team out with some development. 
Right. Let's see how we get on then. And then uh, I'll get to a few international duty games. And uh, we'll do that as a bonus video for you. So this is going to be what would have been the other night. Uh, sorry it went on too long. I was just get telling you about the income we made on the pre-season and some of the new players and a few of the new a few of the uh, Irish players and some of them are really good they're playing in like the premiership so yeah I think they'll be good signings ooh Lima pull it over the bar yeah Lima would be a good backup to Martin I think Martin's going to be a very good player for us He'd be a good replacement for the stroker who scored all them goals last season. I can't remember who it was. Yeah, they hit his release fee and then he had, we had no choice but to sell him. So I think he had like a 20 million release fee or something like that. And the team hit it, paid it, and um, now he's gone there. So... Here's Moreno, cuts it back to Benelli. Oh, yeah. So I'll probably do a few bonus videos then. So I'll probably do this, um, the Europa League first and second leg, and then we'll probably get a few games of Ireland's Na uh, Nations League games. Oh, Costa scored. Lewis Costa, but is it still gonna remain? Is it gonna stand? And then tonight, because my internet's still working a lot, my mum said maybe the internet's gonna turn off at the end of the month. Uh, but even if it does say cut off this weekend, you won't have to wait long because I get new internet the 5th of September. So it only be a few days that I won't be able to upload content if it does cut off by then that's when I'm getting the new internet and I'm like saving me 20 quid a month plus I'll have faster internet Sanchez Mayer it's a free to Agovic a bit ambitious by Agovic so let's keep playing like we are so that stand there what's being cornered off I think that's what's going to be built as our new stand that there that's going to be built as our new stand to make the stadium bigger to turn it into a 25,000 seat stadium so we're going to be able to fit in 5,500 more people than before at the moment it's gone down to 17 because they've had to section some seats out to build a bigger stand but that's going to be done by Christmas so they're doing both stands there now so that's how they're doing it then the corners of each stand so at least we get to fit more people in and make more revenue and get more fans to go oh Pop finished by Lima he's offside in there and let's try and finish in the top six this season qualify for the Europa League but I want us to do better in the Europe this season at least get to the league phase hopefully we don't get someone like last time look uh, Wolfsburg hopefully it's someone not as good we should beat that Romanian team come on guys and then I'm going to also finish today the first season in the League 2 <sighs> in League 2 uh, so yeah we're going to try and win the league with Bordeaux and potentially the French Cup so we'll have to see what happens with that go on there we go good finish by Lima is he on? please be on Mm. 
Kamen. Just a bit. All right, we see what changes we need to make then. Mike takes the ball off. He looks very tired. Yeah, I did say that's how I thought they'd do it at the corners. And take the roof off. That's what they're going to do. Take the roof off and build a bigger stand. And that's what it seems they're doing. And that'd be ready in both swords then. That sword as well. So there's a couple of thousand missing then. All, then I think all four of them corners will just be bigger stands. To fit 5,000 fans in to the stadium to make it a 25,000 seat stadium we've to give away a fucking penalty oh no we've scored we've to got one oh, okay um let's give it Sabala then Sabala looks like the best one to take it come on score yeah, nice, nice penalty. Nice penalty by Zabala. Good finish. All right, come on, guys, stay focused. Make a few subs, see who we need to take off. So Zabala did score, but I'm going to rest him for those that, those that can play there, so... Yeah, play him. The, both DMs are playing really well. Sanchez looks shattered. So we take Sanchez off for Velakas. Velakas can go down there. And be an anchor. Just protect that back four. So it's not a great back four. Um, and we'll leave it for now. Make some more subs later. But um, hopefully we have a good season. Try and get into that top six. Have a good Belgium Cup run. I want to do really well in the conference league try and get to the knockout stage of the conference league depends who we get drawn against in the league phase if we make the league phase we've still got two qualifying rounds to get through to make the league phase so we'll have to see what happens right, we'll make a few more subs in a minute right um Enriquez for Kone. Oh, Kone can play both sides, can't he? He can. That's really handy. That is very handy. Um, and uh, he's playing Wild Dorado. Uh, Mayor for Treore. So that's one, two, three. Oh, one, two. Three, four, oh, one more. Oh, we can make five. Um, can Selenis play as a left winger? Not really. Can Lima? Not really. Um, play fun choice for you. We need to give you some rest. Can he play in the middle? Not really. Right. I'm trying to get rid of that franchise, but no one's paying his fee. He's got a real big market value. He's 15 million rated, but we've just got better wingers than him at the moment. So I'm trying to get him off our books. But yeah, I'm locking the squad we've got. We've got a good squad. Right, so it's gone to a senior smack. Might have a shot on target here, or we'll give it away and they've got it, which I hope don't happen. Yeah, there's a chance here. Is it? Oh, good finish for her, is it? He will be leaving because we've got in that Smith who's going to be better than him. That's a good finish. Yeah, good goal that. Well, good start to the season. Let's keep this lead. 
Let's not foot this up. Not a bad performance. We should look forward to when we get our, all our players. It's front choice. Let's chip it to Trio and give it away. They're on the break now. Come on, guys. Come on, Jen. Let's hold on to this. So probably next game we do on camera will be probably the Europa Conference League uh, first leg. Then we do the second leg as a video, a separate video. Is Lima to Franchois? Franchois has scored. Lima set him up. And it's been awarded. We're winning 4 1 here. Been very clinical. That's what we need to do. We need to finish in that top six so we can try and qualify for the Europa League or even Champions League. Oh, great one. All right, we're giving delighted. Keep the confidence as high as we can. Because we want to get far in Europe. I'd say a good season for us. Top six finish. Knockout stage of um, the Conference League. And just be very competitive in the group phase. The league phase, it's called. And then a good cup run. So that's what I want us to do. Yeah, good. That's decent. 17,000. That's the max we can get in there until all the stands are done, which said they'd be done by New Year. So they've still got some building to do until they can make it a 25,000 seat stadium. But that's good. At least it's more than what they originally were going to do. Originally, they were just going to do 22. I'm glad they're doing 25 because I want to make it. Before we end this into like a 25,000 seater to a 30,000 between that, so we can get in more people in. Top Muller is Luxembourg manager. Hopefully, he does well. I'm going to keep an eye on Luxembourg. Really enjoyed my time with Luxembourg. And um, yeah, I hope they do well. I didn't want to leave them, but. I thought I did say we'd be them next after Canada because we did a poll, didn't we? So that's the chance. That was going to be the only chance for maybe until the next game. And I thought, here's my chance to be on. I said, they did win a poll. And I thought I might as well stick with the poll what people voted on because they wanted me to be Ireland. And remember, we waited years. Um... We waited so long and they were never available. We waited two, three seasons. Then we ended up choosing Luxembourg. But how long was I with Luxembourg? It was some time, wasn't it? So let's look on my manager that before we go. So where's club info then? I'll just click on my name. So... Where's me? Oh, that's where I'll click it. All right, so it show manager timeline. 
So I really didn't want to leave them, but I thought I'd, I thought I'd be a man of my word and say when they become available or offer it me, I did say I'd be them. So we were, how long was we with Luxembourg? So here it's 2040. So we we'll end it after this. It has been a long video. Um, so when did we become Luxembourg manager? So 2038. Well, that's when I quit the Pompey job. Um, so we were with them for five seasons five seasons we were there a long time so we were there for some time so yeah five seasons and now it's 2040 right yeah we were there for four and a half seasons we were there for some time so yeah we're gonna end this so we're gonna be no more countries no more clubs this will be the last club, so if we get sacked, then I'll just put full focus on Ireland and do some tournaments with them. Uh, so this is going to be the final club and country we be on this game. So uh, more likely, if say we've got a few weeks left until FM25, which we're going to be hot, and I've decided we can only be for the first... Three to five seasons, we've got to be an Asian national team. So we could be like Japan or Saudi Arabia, Vietnam, uh, Iraq. But my two favourites would be Australia and for assistant manager, Quan, Vietnam. But anyway, thanks for watching. I like the new squad we've got. It's going to be fun to see what we can do with Ireland as well. And um, I'm going to miss the Luxembourg job. I've really enjoyed doing that. But I think I've left them in a good place with a good team. And I hope the manager keeps the momentum going what I created with them. You know what I mean? If, if Ireland didn't offer me that job, I would have stayed. Um, but it is what it is. Uh it did win a poll some time ago, and we were going to be them. They just never became available. Now they are. I thought, here's the chance, I might as well take it. It was a hard decision, though. It wasn't an easy decision. It was a hard decision. Because I didn't want to leave Luxembourg. I still felt I had some more stuff I could do there. But in the time I was there, I think I did very well. I think I've had more success with my international teams and then my club teams. I think I did a great job with Canada. We got them to multiple finals. Uh, we got them to qualify for, uh, I believe it was only like the second time ever in the Copa America. And um, we did really well with them. And we did well with Luxembourg. So I've got a pretty good track record on international, as an international manager. But, yeah, my CV's better as a national manager than a club-level manager, I'd say. But, um, anyway, thanks for watching. And you'll get a few more bonus videos later. And I'll uh, see you later then, guys. Bye for now.